Star Wars 7x7 episode 2373. It is a brand new month, a brand new year too, but a brand new month, the month of January 2021. And today we're going to look at what's on tap in the world of Star Wars for the coming month. Punch it. <laughs> Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy and thank you so much for joining me for it. So here we are, the first day of the first month of a new year and as with previous episodes where we do the monthly roundup of things happening in the world of Star Wars, there are 10 particular categories that we talk about which include movies, live action series, comics, animation, books, audiobooks, video games, virtual reality, experiential stuff, and merchandise. It's the movies that always get the biggest headlines, the biggest attention, and we are now in the countdown process. We have a movie, we have a date, and things are rolling. So with Patty Jenkins's Rogue Squadron, they are working on the treatment, which will lead to a script. We don't know who her co-writer is, but we know that it's a male, and this would be a great month to announce who that's going to be. She said previously that she was going to hold on to you know not announce who this person was when the Disney Investor Day stuff was revealed so that way he could have his own reveal moment and so wouldn't this be a lovely time to get that to happen and looking back at The Force Awakens and the time when stuff was ramping up it was in the month of January that they started pre-production concepts and just general ideas about things doing that you know, sort of Ralph McQuarrie-esque kind of work. So we know that this is going to be involving fighter pilots and it's, yeah, I'm calling it the Top Gun. I'm sure I'm not the only person who said this, thinking of it as the Top Gun of the Star Wars universe. So that definitely gives conceptual artists more than enough for their initial explorations. And so I imagine that stuff is going to be happening during the month of January as well. On the live action front, we know that the Andor series is in production. And so that will continue in the month of January. I don't think we are at the point where we're getting Kenobi into production necessarily. So we'll have to see how that goes. And then of course we have Boba Fett and season three of The Mandalorian. So I think Book of Boba Fett is heading into production this month. They're gonna have to if they're going to hit that December date. They've talked about Christmas for Mandalorian season three and I have seen things reported saying that Mandalorian is going to start production after the Book of Boba Fett starts production. So I'm beginning to wonder whether Mandalorian is going to make a Christmas deadline or if it's going to end up kicking into 2022. Again, nothing to do with anything wrong with The Mandalorian. I say again because I said it in a previous episode, but only because we've had delays because of the COVID pandemic and that has affected production schedules and that sort of thing. But as we heard in the uh, Disney Investor Day, they are working on building more of the stagecraft stages, also known as the volume, that giant circular space with the LED screens where they can create these amazing virtual environments. They're building ones in London and in Australia, and I believe another one in Los Angeles also. So that's going to give them more opportunities to get production going in multiple locations. So if you think about it, I mean, they could get four because they've got one already and they said they're building three more so they could get Kenobi and Andor and Mando season three and Book of Boba Fett season one all in production if they get these things completed. We don't necessarily know when those other volumes are going to get completed. So yeah, still more to come and hopefully we get to hear about what's happening with production on Mando and Book of Boba Fett during the month of January. On the animation front, we know the Bad Batch is coming. We just don't know when. Would be lovely to hear a date for release, but don't necessarily know if we're going to get it. And we talked on a previous episode about the other series coming out on Disney Plus and particularly on the Marvel side and whether that would have any effect on Star Wars release dates. So we know that WandaVision is coming in January. Falcon and the Winter Soldier is supposed to be coming in March and Loki, I believe in May. So yeah, it's hard to say for sure how they're going to do this, but I'm going to say let's, you know, put it not in one of those months. February, April, it would be really interesting to see it debut in one of those two months. Maybe we'll find out 
in January if it's coming in February. If not, then yeah, I think we might be waiting for just a little bit longer. And there are a couple of other categories where I'm not necessarily expecting any big announcements coming in the month of January in VR, in video games, in experiential stuff, and merchandise, especially now that we are out of the holiday season and Mando Mondays are over and done, so I don't think we're going to be getting any new things there. The other areas where we're going to have big things happening are books and audiobooks and comics. So audiobooks is replicating what's happening with books, which is the biggest event of the month of January. It's the launch of the High Republic Multimedia Publishing Initiative. That starts on January 5th with actually more than just what everybody's been talking about with Light of the Jedi, the novel by Charles Sewell, the adult novel. We also have A Test of Courage, which is the middle grade novel by Justina Ireland. But there's also going to be a children's book, a young reader's book by Kevin Scott. And the High Republic comic series by Kevin Scott is also launching with its first issue in January. And so there will be audiobook versions of Light of the Jedi and A Test of Courage, and we'll talk about those as well. The Young Reader's book is The Great Jedi Rescue, and it sounds like, just based on the summary, that it is going to be retelling a little bit of the events that are depicted in Light of the Jedi. Again, we'll also be talking about that in short order. Also coming out on the book front in January is an adaptation for younger readers, a junior novel of the first season of The Mandalorian written by Joe Schreiber. So that's going to be very cool. And also there's going to be a book coming out from DK Publishing, a reference book by Amy Rickow called I Love You, I Know, Lessons in Love and Friendship. And Amy Rickow is the person who had the 365 Star Wars Women Project, which is really awesome. So this is her first official Star Wars book. So congratulations, Amy. That is so wonderful and awesome. And I'm very much looking forward to checking out that book. And there's also a book by Katie Cook coming out. She's done a lot of great Star Wars children's books. She had a thing about the dragon snake, I think it was, in the Empire Strikes Back from a Certain Point of View anthology. So her thing is the uh, Star Wars Galactic Storybook, and it's going to have six stories that take place across all parts of the saga. And that's another January release as well. And that covers just about everything. Um, on the comics side, there's a lot of other titles coming out. Pretty much everything is back in full swing. So the Star Wars title, the Vader Series 3 title, the Afro Series 2, the Bounty Hunters Series, the various Star Wars Adventures <laughs> series, all of those have issues coming out in January. It is going to be a packed month in terms of Star Wars storytelling. So there, that should pretty much <laughs> cover everything that there is to talk about about what's coming out in Star Wars storytelling in January unless Star Wars Insider has a short story but you know whatever it is if it comes out we will talk about it here on the show and that's just about going to do it um it just so happens that I'm recording this episode on New Year's Eve and if you're catching the video version then you can see me offering you a champagne toast and if you're hearing the audio version well then just here's a link for you. I am so grateful that you have chosen to join me for a daily dose of Star Wars joy and I am committed to delivering this to you every day in 2021 just like I have every day of every year for the past six and a half years before this. So seventh anniversary is coming up in July this year which is really exciting and that's kind of a a rather significant number to me, as you <laughs> might have guessed from the whole title of the podcast, but I've got a lot of exciting things to talk about in the year to come, and I'm looking forward to spending this year with you. So thank you so much for joining me for the show. As always, I hope you have a safe and peaceful start to your new year, and may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2020 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.